to my case that is open you can go to import and select what we're looking for okay we are looking for this bottle here double click okay so you, the materials are on the right you won't be doing much this is not, this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial it's just going to be a simple tutorial if you have key shot, you can go to plastic then go to hard you can select different nice colors here but for this one i would probably like i would have you can also use um, cloudy plastic that also really gives it a cool transparent um, feel mm, yep you can just do that then you can also scroll up and go to glass there are so many ones they are even textured glass where you can get ones nice ones here we have fit here very cool and then i probably would like to use you know, this one that not coming colors and solid glass basic glass a lot of glass fuel okay and i'm looking for the ridges yes this is one that i like using it gives it a very funky look Okay, so let's use this baby glass. We can just draw. So go down. I think this is cool. We don't need much. Like I said, go to render, and then you can change the name here to transparent auto. This is the location taken of this. When you finish rendering, you know where to find it, and then you can change the formats. I prefer the pack. You can also change the resolution, you choose higher resolution, more time, but better with a lower resolution. It takes a very quick time to render. Then you can go to options, you can choose other using maximum time where you can set that. After maybe 5 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour, you want the render to be done, or you can use samples. Usually I use samples and I like to maintain it at 300, you can adjust as needed. 300, then you can go to render, and then the rendering will start right away. And this might take a while depending on the materials you use depending on um, how complex the model is and depending on the sample time or the, sorry the sample the number of samples you used okay so normally 300 samples for this material should be quick enough some materials like the cloudy plastic takes quite a while to render so let's just hold on Fantastic. So this is done. We can click the green checkbox, the green check mark to finish and close it. Okay, we can close this window. Alright, so um, let's see if we can do one more render before we set off. You can also choose glass, you can choose a China material, but let's go a hard plastic for so that a hard plastic maybe a green or let's try the blue okay so another way that you can render is that you can also wait for so this here is a heads up display this thing on the top left here you can just show you to hide it by pressing each on your keyboard pressing each on your keyboard you can also go to view heads up display and then it will pop up and this also shows some interesting um, things going on in the rendering but the most important or what you are important what you are interested in is the samples and as you can see the sample the sample count is really increasing fast because of the material we use so you can see that very soon we are going to hit 300 so when you have about 300 or 400 samples, instead of going to hit render and then rendering, you can just simply click the screenshot. So anytime you are monitoring this window and you feel like, oh, the rendering is good enough, you can just click the screenshot and to save that. So let's just hold over that and see. All right. 
looks like we have 400 samples that should be good enough so like i said go to the bottom right and hit screenshots and then it will save it and you can see where it is saved down here document key short rendering on title so that's where it is saved you have to take note of that location and then look for it okay so whilst we are i'll be showing you so i think this should be the end of the tutorial and i'll go to my pictures to show you how the rendered images look like if i go let's just play around with this whilst i go and show what the final view looks like so go to pictures and then okay short renders okay so hit there we have it and we have okay so this is the glassy one and this is the plastic one you can see very very beautiful rendered images from keisha and then you can see the plastic cloudy plastic rendering beautifully okay so just like the ones we did you can just hit render and then set the maximum time or the, the maximum sample count you want and then it's realized or you can just wait and then keep checking the sample counts at this top left here now it's 22 you can see as i said the cloudy plastic is taking quite some time to to be rendered so you can keep checking that and then when you think you have a good enough render you hit screenshot thank you very much and hope you subscribe to my channel and then watch out for more fantastic videos on using K-Shot, on using CMS NX and on using SolidWorks. Thank you.